let us now take example 8 which also is based on the concept of circumcenter if s is the circumcenter of a triangle pqr where angle qsr is 110 degrees and angle spr is 25 degrees then find angle prq and now that we have already solved a question based on circumcenter and we know what the properties are we will try to solve this question without writing any step on paper the only thing that we will do is draw the diagram there the triangle consider the circumcircle and try to find out what the required angle is so let's consider the triangle pqr let's say this is the triangle pqr right p q and r and s is the circumcenter so let's say s here is the circumcenter now angle qsr equals to 180 110 degrees right qsr so this angle here qsr is equal to 110 degrees now from our knowledge of circumcenter we know that the angle made by any side with the circumcenter is twice the vertical angle that means 110 degrees is two times of angle p so if this is 110 this should be half 55 degrees yes or no so this angle here is 55 degrees i'm not writing those steps we are just trying to mark all the points here right and and we know that the circumcenter s is equidistant from q r and p as well right right it is equidistant from q r and p get the point the angle made by the side q r with the circumcenter should be twice of the vertical angle so if this is 55 only then this can become 110 the next point here is angle s p r is 25 degrees angle s p r now see total is 55 degrees but this part here is 25 degrees now it's obvious that if this is 25 this has to be 30 degrees because 25 plus 30 will make the total angle 55 degrees all right now we know that circumcenter is equidistant from all the three vertices right so sp should be equal to sr should be equal to sq now the requirement of the question here is find angle prq prq so we need to find out this angle here total angle prq how do we do that consider this see these two sides are equal these two sides are equal if these two sides are equal the opposite angles have to be equal so if this is 30 degrees the opposite angle here will also be 30 degrees right that's the logic that we have used in the earlier example as well likewise here these two sides are equal right angle uh, side sp is equal to side sr if these two sides are equal their opposite angles have to be equal so if this angle here is 25 the opposite angle this should be 25 which angle only this part here this part is 25 degrees all right now see 110 degrees is this angle we know that these two sides are equal if these two sides are equal their opposite angles have to be equal what are the opposite angles this angle let's say this is angle x and this angle these two are equal right if this is x degrees this also will be x degrees why sq is equal to sr so if sq is equal to sr the opposite angles have to be equal now if you consider the triangle S, uh, sqr the total angle has to be 180 degrees now out of 180 degrees this is 110 so what is left out 70 that 70 should be equally divided between two because the two angles are equal here so can you say this is 35 and this also here is 35 yes so this is 35 degrees and this also is 35 degrees yes or no so 35 plus 35 70 plus 110 180 degrees now the requirement of the question is prq find angle prq what is prq this part of angle r is 25 and this part here is 35 so we can say angle prq is equal to 25 plus 35 25 degrees plus 35 degrees which is 60 degrees right so important points here are that the circumcenter is equidistant from all the three vertices so if you look at the three triangles that are formed here the all the three triangles will be isosceles triangles these two sides are equal these two sides are equal and these two sides are equal so based on that we can say that the opposite angles are equal and most importantly the angle made by any side at the circumcenter is two times the vertical angle so using these points you will be able to solve these type of questions based on circumcenter